Hi everybody, Jane Hunter here. Welcome back to my kitchen. We're going to do another little craft this morning. Um, we're going to make some Mexican style or inspired frames. Um, look after looking at Mexican folk art. It'd be quite good if you looked it up on the internet and had a look at all the lovely colours and patterns that they do. And these have been inspired by that. So. I'm going to show you now how to make it, what you need, and how we're going to make it. Okay, let's have a look down here. Right, I've got some cardboard, some corrugated cardboard, just of a box that was something came in. Um, not very thick, so it's easy to cut with scissors. Um, and we've got here, we've got two long strips, which are 19 centimetres by three and a half centimetres. And we've got two short ones, which are 13 and a half centimetres by three and a half centimetres. Got like a semicircle with a bit of an extension. So I used a tape to just get the curve at the top. And then I just went straight down. So you can later on, we'll be gluing that onto the back of these. And then just a shape. Now, um, I've used heart, but you could use a skull or a flower. It's quite good to have a look at the Mexican folk art because you see all the different motifs that they use and you might get inspired to use something different. Okay, so once you've got your pieces cut out, the reason why I do strips like this for the frame is that if you have a piece of card like this and you cut your frame out of the middle, it's pretty tricky, especially for young people. So, and it's good for them to sort of get engaged in the making of the whole thing. So the first thing we need to do when we've got all our bits cut out is make our frame. So we're going to arrange it. I put the short bits on top of the long bits for the front. But there's no right or wrong way to do this, you might. There we go, so that's the basic frame. And then I'm going to use a PVA style glue to glue them together. Now I suggest you do this and then you give it a few minutes to go off to, to stick properly before you do anything else to it. So the next thing, so I'm just gonna stick that, there we go. The next thing is to leave that and then paint it. So we want to paint the frame, paint the dome semicircle thing, and then paint your shape. And then we're going to imagine that I've done that. So on my frame here, I painted them all different colours. Orange, red and blue. But as I say, you can do any combination. You could do all the same colour if you want. It's up to you. I'm just showing you the basics. So you use your imagination for the rest of it. Okay, so once that's dry, this isn't quite dry, but I'm just going to crack on. We want to put the domey bit on the back here. Okay, like that in the middle. If it's not in the middle, it doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky. I don't mind wonky. And then you want to stick. You can see that I did this earlier um, and then I had to pull it all apart. But guess what? I forgot to press record. Silly me. And now my glue is getting stuck. So anyway, there's the glue. So there's your basic frame. So you can imagine you've painted it all lovely colours. And that's your basic frame. So what I what you could do now, let me just swap over. This is one, another one. This is slightly different size, but the size doesn't really matter unless you've got a picture that you really want to put inside there, like a photograph or something. Then you'd make sure that your frame was the right size for that. Um, so this one I have painted, and then I've got some done a bit of printing on it. I've used you know, like a cap of a, I think this was a spray thing, and I've got my paint on it and I've done some printing. So I've added patterns with printing on this one. And then don't forget your very handy cotton bud. 
And then I've got, a, you know, from my stash, my selection of shiny things, I've stuck them on. I've got some sequins and some buttons, but you can use any shiny things. If you haven't got bright coloured buttons, you could cover your buttons with tin foil. That would look nice. I found, you know, I've got all sorts of ribbons and things like that. So I've just added a bit of ribbon at the bottom. But you could make tassels out of bits of paper or tissue paper or anything really. Um, and then this one I've done to um, hang on the wall. So I made two holes through the cardboard and I just used a bit of fabric that I had, a little strip of fabric. String, rope, anything you've got to go in there um, would be fine. And then this one... I would say, right, that's it, I've done, and then put the picture in, glue it on the back, and there you have it, your Mexican style frame to hang up. But if you wanted to have your frame standing up like this one, you need to think about the back of it and how you're going to do that. And also in this one, we can slide a picture in and out because we've left a gap here. And I'll just show you how to do that now, quickly. So, this is the... So here's your frame. Now if you turn it over, um, what you've got to do is build up a bit of depth here so that we will have room to slide the picture in. So I've done that by making two strips there to stick on there. So I've, I've cut them the same size as this one, and then I just cut it in half again. So that they go, I'll glue them on there. And the same on the other side. Yes. And then you'd fill in the bottom here as well. Probably that's a bit big, so you could just do it by eye. We just want to fill this in so that when your picture goes in, it doesn't slip out the bottom. Probably need another one in there, maybe just use those. So it's all the same height, and then you get a big piece, glue all that on the top, and when you've done that, you've got a little slit there that you can pop your picture in. Now to stand it up, you cut out a triangle out of card, but you'd add just a little centimetre extra so it's a triangle with a little centimeter that's going to bend now if i stuck that on the back at the bottom and stood it up it would stand up perfectly straight but to make it lean back a little bit you just want to make a slope on the back then just cutting a tiny bit off then you glue that on your back and then you've got a picture frame that you can change the picture in it. Okay, so that's how I did this one. There's like, typical, can't get it out now. There's a little slot that you put it in, see? And you can change the picture. So you could have a picture you've drawn, you could have a photograph of somebody. So there's the basic Mexican style frame. Um, here, I've just cut little zigzags of paper and stuck it on the inside to jazz it up a bit more. A little bit of sequins. So you just use your imagination. Um, if you have a look at the Mexican folk art, not everything is brightly coloured either. They do like um, Day of the Dead things, so it might be black with lots of dots, you know, bright colours on it. But you'll be able to see if you look it up. There you go. I think you'd enjoy making those. I did. <laughs> so have a little bit of fun. And don't forget. Let's have a look. Don't forget to keep saving st things for your stash so we can do more stuff. I've got a few other things planned. For instance, um, fish with moving tails. Um, you need the inside of the toilet roll for those. So keep that. Um, another good thing is these little finger puppets. They're made out of egg boxes. So keep your egg boxes. 
and behind you can see um, planets and space themed hangy thing which is good fun to make so we need you just need cardboard and a stick for that and paint so keep collecting stuff for your stash keep creative have a good time take care see you soon bye